everyone. My name is Katie Peterson, Peterson Business Services. This is my lovely assistant, Mr. Vanna White. I'm just kidding. This is Darren with ServiceMate. You can come stand up here. It's okay. Are you gonna, all right. He's, he's a little bit scared. So um, <laughs> I'm going to give you a little intro to ServiceMate. Does anyone here already use ServiceMate or know what it is? Awesome. I can lie to you and you won't know. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so ServiceMate is field service management. Anybody know what that means? All right, field service management is for people that work in the field doing services, like plumbers, electricians, landscapers, house cleaners, whatever. People that go somewhere to do something. <laughs> so this is what we're going to tell you about today, that it's a great solution, and then we'll show you how it works, or we'll show you how it works, and then we'll tell you about the partner program. I've been training for like the last week and a half, and I'm so tired of hearing my voice come out of speakers that this is killing me. That's okay. All right, so here is a problem that people have in service management. So missing appointments, techs not getting the information that they need to go to an appointment, full information about a job, showing up to the job without the right tools or the right things because they didn't have all of the information. Has anyone here ever waited a ridiculous amount of time for a tech to show up at their house? Or what I should say is, does anyone have cable or a phone, right? It's terrible. So something cool about this app, real-time text message notifications. So if you need to run to the store, you'll know if you can. Little things like that. I'll show you all that stuff later. Also, the invoicing situation. Does anyone here have a client that uses a three-part form or a two-part form? Or what are those things called? Carbon copies? Who does that? A lot of people do that. This alleviates that problem. Also, the ability to take payments on site without giving your techs access to your accounting system. Two-way sync. Do you want to take payments on site or do you want to take it in the accounting system? You can do it either way and it will cross-pollinate across both systems. Some examples of who is a good fit for ServiceMate. So we've got, um, and what do we have on it? Plumber. Plumber on it. <laughs> Sorry. That's my other lovely assistant. Um, he helps me survive. So plumbers, pest controls, even though it doesn't have a chemical tracking module, they have super customizable forms. So if you have an industry that needs specificity when it comes to what they're writing down or what they're tracking, you can do all of that. If you have field service management that wants a custom form that's outside of the ability of QuickBooks Online, right, because we all know how robust the QBO form module is, not, um, you can do all of that here as heavy or as light as you want. So here's some of our little problem timeline that we have when we're working with field service management and QBO. Because we're talking about QBO integration, just to let everybody know. So a client calls. You're going to have to manage that externally, right? QuickBooks Online is not a CRM. So somehow someone needs to have access to a post-it and a pen and hope that they don't lose that post-it before they get all of the information to a technician or into a system. Next, they need to quote the job. Do they need to go on site to quote the job? Can they quote it over the phone? And then that quote has to get to the next person who's actually going to do the job. So then the job has to get done, assuming that everything makes it that far. And then invoice and payment. So QBO will handle your invoicing and payment. You can also do that in ServiceMate, or you can switch back and forth depending on if you have office staff that needs to do it, or your tech needs to do it, or a combination of the two. So once you integrate ServiceMate, you have the ability to manage a first call, whether it comes in on somebody's cell phone, in a van, in an office, doesn't matter because it's a SaaS-based system, so you can access it from anywhere. All you need is your iPhone or your iPad with 4G or Wi-Fi, and you're good to go. <clears throat> Once you have all that information, and you can turn it into a work order, and then it turns into a job. There's Anyone here use Facebook? Anyone know what Facebook is? We have two people that know what Facebook is? All right, come on. We're all friends. You can raise your hand. Be proud. So we've got activity feeds on jobs. So if you have someone that wants to take pictures of a job, you know they need to relay that information. When you're done with a job, take in a picture so your tech can say, look, you know, I did that and I did it right. Having that whole strand of activity right there in the product if you choose to use it. And then, of course, I already told you about the back and forth thing. He'll show you that. We've got additional add-ons for things. So like we talked about custom forms. If you don't need it, it's not bogging down your system, giving your clients extra buttons that they're going to click on and jack something up you can choose to turn it on. So you've got all these things where if your client doesn't need it and they need a more simple solution, you don't have to distract them with shiny things that they're going to break. You can choose who to put it on there for. <laughs> Obvious benefits. I think that you're all very intelligent people and understand the benefits of using a SaaS-based system and streamlining operations. 
so I'm not going to take a whole lot of time reading that to you. I want Darren to be able to show you the product, and then we'll talk about things a little bit more. You ready? I'll try this one. Testing. Beautiful. All right, so this is the ServiceMate dispatch board. ServiceMate works or operates across two main platforms. You've got the online side of ServiceMate, which would be used by your uh, office staff, so finance staff, dispatchers, and management. And then you've got the iPhone, iPad app, which is what your field staff would actually use. So both can essentially do the same things, but they're designed to be better at their specific role. So here you can see we've got the dispatch map. You can see uh, jobs that we've got around the place. You can see where our staff are. So if I zoom in there, you can see staff on the map. So if you've got an urgent job that you need to dispatch out, you can choose the staff member who's closest. Um, we've also got our staff schedule. So you can see all the jobs that are associated with each staff member. Um, and scheduling jobs is really easy. It's just drag and drop. So I'm gonna start by creating a new job, and I'm gonna use a job template, which pre-populates information, so you don't have to keep writing the same thing for the same job every time. And I'm gonna load a client from my QBO account, so then fold it, which then loads all the information, and pretty much I'm now ready to go with issuing this out to a staff member. So if I click Save, that job is now available and I can drag and drop that onto a staff member. And instantly we get a schedule notification for that tech telling him that he has something he has to be aware of. So if I click OK, you can see that Ben Bolden job is there and this field staff member now has all the information they need to be able to contact the client, get to the job, they don't have to enter in the information into a, a navigation app, it's, it's there, they can't get it wrong. Um, they've got the tasks that they have to do, so these tasks came in from that chick, the uh, job template that I loaded before. You've also got up the top, you've got you know the main job description, and then you've got the items that you're potentially going to charge for, and then you've got the activity fee that Katie was talking about. So in this case, the first step is to get to the job. So to do that, I'm going to tap the top header and click navigate. Now what that'll do is jump straight into your mapping software and then get you ready to go and you can hit start. So I can then navigate straight to the job without any chance of going to the wrong place. Once you arrive on site, by navigating to the job, we've started a timer. So we have an idea of how long we've been on site for when we want to actually charge for it. And the person is now going to go to the site and start going through this checklist. One of the really powerful things about ServiceMate is our form system. You can see the sample job safety analysis. So that actually came from this job by adding this job badge. So all, I, all this, the person in the office had to do was attach this badge to the job, and then the field staff member knows they have to complete this task. So that could be anything. It could be a maintenance checklist on an air con. It could be a pest inspection form, anything like that. And all they have to do to start it is tap that top button, and then they're going to start running through a form. So I'm going to go through this fairly quickly, but basically it's uh, multiple choice or text. So if I say there was an issue, I can say there's exposed wires. And just quickly go through. Significant red. You can then collect a signature from the tech. Terrible, but <laughs> and then that's going to go away and produce a PDF based on those questions. And one of the powerful things about having it built into ServiceMate is the fact that we can pull information from the job that doesn't have to be entered. So you can see we know the date, we know the job number, we know the job address. We've got the scope of the of the job. So that came from the job description. So really quickly, I've been able to make a four-page document that's assessing the risk on this site in like 30 seconds. Obviously, you'd 
take a little bit more time to assess the risk normally, but you, you get a really comprehensive document really quickly, which means that it's actually gonna get done because it's easy. So I'll go back out, he's now completed that first task. More or less, he's just gonna use this as a checklist and go actually do the work. So I'm gonna say he's removed the existing drainage, he's installed the checklist, the drainage system, and ensured the gate was closed when he left. So, the next step he's gonna do is go to billing and add any items that he charged for. So if I hit add item slash service, you can then quickly scroll through all the items and these will all come straight over from QuickBooks Online. And you can choose the ones that you wanna charge for. So um, he used a th three meter copper coil. Smoke and mirrors. So three meter copper coil. And then if we hit save, we can add that in. You can search, so you can search through that list for something, so height, elbow, change the quantity really easily, and add them in. Um, so then he's, he's added the items, he's ready to invoice the client. So I'll go back to to-do, and I'm gonna hit check out. This takes us to our checkout wizard, which streamlines completing the job and invoicing the client. So I'm gonna say the job was complete, I'm then gonna say I wanna issue it by email, and if I wanted to, I could actually hit add payment and hit card and take that credit card payment right now on site. So you're not waiting for that person to give you the money. So I won't right now. But so then you're selecting which method you want to issue the invoice. So you can do email, print, or SMS. You should have at least one way to get the uh, invoice out to the client with those uh, four methods. So all I have to do is select email, I'll click check out, that'll go out, produce an invoice. It's recognized that this invoice requires a signature, so I can then get the client to sign, who is Ben, oh, it's even worse. And then that, after producing the invoice, it immediately jumps into the email, not wasting any time confirming it, and you can see we've got the invoice automatically attached, the email's already loaded, the subject is in reference to the job, and we're used. We have email templates that pre-populate um, when you send, so this tech doesn't have to write this information every time, and it means the office can set the uh, format in which they want to communicate with their clients, and it's very consistent. So all the tech has to do is hit send, and it's done. So it was literally like four or five taps. I've invoiced. I can now go back to uh, my schedule and go to my next job and move on. So the text job at that point's over. From there, yeah. And so the final step is that invoice will now be sitting on the invoicing page and we can now send that to QuickBooks by clicking here and clicking approve and selecting our income account. And that's pretty much the whole life of a job from being created right through to uh, QuickBooks. If this goes well, it should tick. But I'm gonna hand you back to Katie to uh, go through the final few slides. Yep, so that's already in QuickBooks now. Yep. I'm just gonna hold it this time so we have people next time. All right, so let's talk about pricing. So one of my favorite things about this app, because there are lots of field service management apps, I recommend you all stay here and listen to the next one that's also field service management so that you have solutions for every problem. But our pricing here is the big deal. This is not only scalable, but it's reverse scalable. So this product is not priced by user or per month, it's priced by the job. So the first 20 jobs you make, the first 20 work orders you make, are free every month. What? Right? So if you have a super small business, like that, it's crazy. I don't like saying that if you have someone under 20 jobs, they're never going to pay, because I feel like they're gonna change the pricing model if I keep saying that. Um, but after 20, you can see here, it's 50 cents. And some people might say, well, what if they have 500 jobs? Who cares? It's 50 cents. If it's that big of a deal, mark up your estimate by 50 cents. It does not get any better than that when it comes to pricing. Am I right? Do you guys agree? It's crazy. 
Um, also, the text message notifications, just so we have like full openness, are eight cents. So if you have a job and you send a text to your client, it's 58 cents. If that's a deal breaker for anyone, you should probably find something else to do. All right. Our add-ons, some of these add-ons, um, most of these add-ons are free. Some of them do cost, like, which one's the... Okay, so they're priced by job credits, which we just talked about, are 50 cents. So if you're using forms, for example, um, it's going to be your first 20 are still free. But if you had 30 jobs, it's $5 after 20, right? All right, so it's like five bucks a month if you have over 20 jobs, but it's by job credit. So if you have 500 jobs, it would be whatever that was, 35 cents, 350. So the price only gets lower as you go. What? I know crazy okay so a really awesome thing one of the ways that they're able to keep their pricing so low is with their partner program so they only offer email support to end users what they do is they have people in their partner program so when people need support they refer it all back out to their partners and they give you the phone support and all the best support so you're basically the bridge your client can get that email support but you're able to get that consulting revenue and it's so cheap for the client to use it that they don't mind paying you to fix it for them. It's so easy to set up. I did my first implementation. I charged like 400 bucks. I literally spent less than 90 minutes total doing the implementation and training for my client. Less than 90 minutes total of everything I did. The syncing of the accounting platform, the training, answering their questions afterward, 400 bucks under 90 minutes. If your hourly rate is higher than that, if you would make more than $400 in 90 minutes, I would like to talk to you afterwards so you can tell me your tricks but I thought it was pretty rad. Oh, I just talked about that. Oh, $100 referral bonus. They have this revenue sharing thing. You can roll the dice over there and get up to 70% for six years. Is that our last slide? Does anyone have any questions? Okay, so her question is what sinks, which is an amazing question, and I'm glad that you asked that because I hate when people are like, oh, it sinks and plugs it in, not knowing what really goes back and forth. Um, so it will sync your entire customer list, it will send your invoices over, and it will sync your payments both ways. So if you take a payment in this product, it'll send the payment over to QuickBooks. You can only take Stripe payments in product. If you want to use QB payments, it doesn't really matter because it will send the invoice to QuickBooks. When you process the payment in QuickBooks, it will send the paid status back over to service mate. Right, sweet. Anybody else? Does it do time tracking? They have just rolled out their integrated timesheet feature that is um, not officially out if you were to sign up right now because we're still making sure it does all the things we need it to do. So yes and no. Mostly yes. Yeah, it's, it's alive. It's just not live. <laughs> yeah. It's in beta. I hate when people say it's in beta because it's like, what does that mean? Did it just get into beta? How long is it going to be in beta? All right, any other questions? Is that just for QuickBooks Online or QuickBooks Desktop as well? It does not integrate with QuickBooks Desktop. This is a SaaS program, but it does everything that your client should be doing. So basically, you can enable them to run their business more efficiently, do their job, and not jack up their books which I'm a big fan of, so. Do you have a question? Yeah. Um, the texting feature, is that available So she's asking if texting is available with the text also. So you have the full app communication also. So when you, you can send a message or send, boom, it will push through to their phone. So you have full app messaging and tracking SMS. So yes, and there it is. Good job. Isn't he a lovely assistant? Push notification free. So it's only the client SMS notifications that are in. All right, we have two minutes. Does it do progress invoicing? Yes. There is not an Android app. So this is an iOS specific platform. It is an iOS specific platform. Every single client that's come to me, don't give me that look, I'm gonna tell you something. All right. <laughs> Every client that I've, I thought that was going to be the deal breaker when I was telling people like, you're gonna have to buy an iPad. Nobody cares, nobody cares. Nobody who has come to me wanting this, I implemented it for one person. I had five other tech, like man in a band people that knew him that came to me and I'm like, uh, I don't know if you have enough money to buy an iPad. They do not care. 
the amount of time that they save and the efficiency, efficiency that they gain using this, they're like, I'll buy an iPad, I'll buy five iPads. They'll buy iPads for their whole team, just so that they can run it. And the app runs better, and actually it looks nicer on an iPad than on a phone. I'm just gonna say. So she's asking about account mapping stuff. If anyone has questions about that, we can do one-on-one -on -one at the booth, too. Did you have a question? Okay, so she's asking about sort of complex inventory management. I'm going to leave that one for app demo, too, because I feel like I can't answer it in a short enough amount of time. Oh, okay, so she's asking about tracking relevant customer information. Um, like I was saying earlier, we have that whole activity feed. You could take pictures of serial numbers on equipment, pictures of equipment, write it all down. You could track everything against the job. All right, are we cut off, Amy? All right. The booth is right down the hall on the corner. So.